welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Today I'm going to show you my U.S. Navy shadow box. But before I do that, let me give you a brief history on shadow boxes. A shadow box is for a sailor with shipboard service whenever they retired and were going ashore that this simple box would hold their belongings. Now that could be uniform items, awards, uh, whatever. But the lore of it, if the shadow, if their shadow touched land before they set foot there, before they actually touched land, then supposedly they would have ill will, ill luck, and so on. Hence the name Shadow Box. Uh, there are some very elaborate shadow boxes out there. Mine is actually quite simple, and I just didn't see the need in, in going all out on mine. Now it does hold medals, awards, uh, uniform items, stuff like that. Stuff that uh, had a little bit of a meaning to me. And it's basically a keepsake item. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So this is my shadow box. I actually bought this case at uh, one of the arts and craft stores. It's just a simple box. It's pre-made. The items that are inside of it, you'll notice up here at the top that I have the uh, American flag which is folded up and maintained inside the case. This flag was presented to me when I retired. It was flown on board the USS Theodore Roosevelt. And it was also flown in the cockpit of an F-18F Super Hornet from VFA-32. The flag actually has my name written along the edge of it, the binding of the flag where it attaches to the, uh, to, well, to the lanyard, uh, I forget, I know there's an nautical term for that, but I forget what it is. But anyway, yeah, so so this flag has my name actually embroidered into the uh, the edge of it. So really has a, a, a grand meaning to me that this represents my naval service and service to my country. So let's take a look at some of the items in the shadow box. I'm going to start over here and you'll notice that I have a series of name tags. Now the one up here on the top that was the first name tag that I actually was ever issued in my military career. I was an E5 at uh, Namtrae Grudet, Oceana, and I was an instructor. And we wore name tags, even though we had our names embroidered onto the front of our uniforms, we wore name tags as instructors to separate ourselves from the students. Um, just kind of a visual indication that that was a staff member that worked at Namtrae Grudet. So, that was my first name tag. The one below it in red, ADC Select Hat Maker, that is from the USS Stennis, John C. Stennis, and was out on a detachment on board Stennis with VFA 102 at the time that the chief results came out. And so they made up this name tag and had me wear it so that uh, I would stand out from the crowd and everybody knows that I was a chief select and that they were not supposed to help me do anything. Well, that's not exactly how it goes, but that's what it felt like. Anyway, we left the Stennis. Uh, oh, before I do that, backstory, you can go look at my video for my charge book and I talk briefly about uh, trying to build that charge book while we were on board the ship. So uh, yeah, you can go back and kind of review that and I'll put a link up here to that video so uh, you guys can can review and kind of put those pieces together now when I went back to Naval Air Station Lemoore which is where our squadron was uh, stationed that's where I got the CPO selectee name tag badge um, and again it was designed to set us apart or make us look a little bit different from everybody else so that they know that we were selectees and uh, that they were not supposed to help us do anything. I'm telling you, these name tags were the toughest thing that I think I've ever done. Well, aside from the charge book, that, that was, that was a, a tough deal too. But 
When I finally made Chief, after I went through the induction process, I got my VFA 102 ADC hat maker name tag. Now that's the first name tag that I wore in the Navy as a Chief Petty Officer. And that's the reason why I have the, uh, the Chief's anchor next to it. My next command was Namtre Grudet had changed to CNAT U at Oceana. And so this is CNAT U, basically same command as when I was an instructor before, but uh, different name. Uh, I was the lead instructor for the FA-18 uh, AD division. And uh, that was that was 1039, by the way, which was the, uh, the MTU number. But uh, so I was lead instructor and I also got my master training specialist designation while I was there the second time. And that's what you see the little round emblem over there on the uh, on the side. So that was my MTS designation. So master training specialist. Uh, pretty good program. Difficult to go through. I should have got it the first time. I didn't. Uh, I was well. I was an E5, and I was more interested in my my liberty at the time than furthering my career. Anyway, next and final command. I had made senior chief ADCS AW Ed Hatmaker from VFA 32. Remember I told you my flag was flown in a VFA 32 aircraft. And you'll notice the senior chief's anchor there next to that. When I made chief, we were given these little cards uh, basically to carry in our wallet that says it certifies that I have been inducted as a chief in the United States Navy. Now, moving up to the top here, you'll notice that uh, I have some small medals over here with a, a small EAWS set of wings. Now that was whenever we would do uh, a really formal type uh, dinner or something along those lines. We would wear small medals. I didn't wear those very often. I, I think I might have worn them twice in my whole career. But uh, thought they were really neat, so I put them in here. Again, below that, some name tags that I wore. Uh, my ADCSAW Ed Hatmaker with the sword over here. That was VFA 32 Swordsman. And that's what I wore on my foul weather jacket, uh, my flight jacket. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, just a, a Velcro name patch. Uh, the one below that was what I had when I was at CNAT U. And then the one below that is just a leather name patch that was done for me by one of my uh, parachute riggers. That was actually a gift that uh, they made for me when I made Chief was uh, that was the first uh, uh, jacket tag that I had. Now over here these are my full size medals um, and you'll notice that uh, I'm going to try to name some of them for you here. I've got Navy Commendation which is the green and white. Navy Achievement Medal which is the green and orange good conduct award. Now you notice they also have little stars on them too. Good conduct award. I had eight awards for that one. Uh, National Defense Service Medal. Expeditionary Medals. I know that two of these are uh, terrorist, uh, Global Terrorist um, Service Medals. Service and I think a um, Expeditionary Medal is one of them. Uh, the one on the very end is a NATO medal. I, I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, but uh, those were the actual medals that, that I earned while I was in service. Now below, this is what they call rockers. And on the Navy uniform for the, uh, the enlisted rank C6 and below, they wore rockers on their shoulders. And it was basically so they could identify what command or what unit that they were with. A little bit of lore behind this, you know, uh, the Navy had a really bad image about drunken sailors and they say that these were actually issued to the sailors so that whenever they got drunk and passed out on the streets, they knew where to take them. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but anyway, those are some of the, uh, the rockers that I had on my uniform. Senior Chief anchor that would go on, it was a, a hat medallion, go on the front of one of the covers or the hats. Um, and then, oh yeah, I forgot, dog tag. Didn't really wear my dog tags, but I had that laced into my boots whenever we were out on the ship uh, in case something happened. Usually, uh, on board a, an aircraft carrier on the flight deck anyway, if there was an accident, nine times out of ten, about all they were ever going to find were your boots. 
So that's why we kept the dog tags laced into the boots. Uh, this right here, this is what I wore on my uniform after I made Chief and, and Senior Chief. This was my daily uh, ribbon rack and uh, my EAWS medallion. And before I retired, I was actually command senior chief for VFA 32. So that's my cookie uh, that I wore for that. So anyway, just a few items from my uniform, from my days in the Navy. But uh, that's my shadow box. And oh, by the way, this video goes out to Schick Happens. The Schickster asked the question, hey, I saw your shadow box. And uh, he wanted to know more about it. Maybe some of you guys have also seen it in some of my videos and maybe you wanted to know more about it too and just never asked. But anyway, here's your chance. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Like my video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing new videos. I'm doing all kinds of stuff coming here real soon. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And remember, pay attention to the details. See ya. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites. 